Hey, Dalvin. Uh, I was curious about the new light padded helmets. I think uh, they've been asked about a little bit, but um, you don't have to worry about, say, like an accidental helmet to the thigh or something like that, how they fit, how they feel, how are they part of this OTA process? Oh, I think the OTA process was like, you know, us building the chemistry, you know, us getting around each other. You know, it was it was less of the physical part. So I think Coach Zim came to the conclusion, you know, taking the helmets off, you know, and you know, still protecting us. And, and I think the helmets they comfortable, you know, they feel good. And you know, I think I think you know when it comes to OTAs, like I said, it's less of the physical. It's about getting that timing down. You know, starting to get to know each other, building that chemistry. And I think you know, Coach Zim, you know, he know that as a coach. So I think it was smart of him. Do Courtney and then Matt. Hey, Dalvin, how are you feeling? How's the off season going? Where's the body at? Have you added anything new to your training regimen? Just give us kind of the four one one on that. Um, I'm feeling good. Um, well, I've been I've been busting my tail all off season. Um, trying to get ready. Um, and I think you no, know, for me, it's all about staying patient. You know, I get I I want to play football right now and. You know, that's how my body feel, and I feel good. I've been lifting pretty good, and just what I added to my game, it's really nothing. You know, it's, be it's been a better teammate for me. You know, helping my helping my younger guys get better. You know, we got a young team, and I think me, you know, just stepping up and being who Dalvin Cook is, not not stepping outside of the box and being nobody else, just being Dalvin Cook and, and helping guys get better, helping guys get comfortable. And I think that's going to be the best way this team, you know, go where we wanted to go. And you know, that's just us getting to know each other, us gelling, us leaders, you know, leading the younger guys. And, you know, I think that's what, that's why I got to excel as a, as a leader. You know, the on-field stuff is going to take care of itself. You know, I train hard, I work hard, I put the right stuff in my body and stuff like that. And you know, that's going to take care of itself. But, you know, being that leader for this team, I think that's, that's important for, for us this year. I have a really quick follow-up on that when you're talking about like, the weight room. How does a running back train in the weight room at this time of year does it look what what you do in the weight room now different than what you did maybe your first year like how do you have to adjust that focusing on maybe different parts of your body lower half of your body things like that yeah um for me it was it was you know my first couple of years you know i got banged up and it was what can i do a little different to not get put in that situation again and i think you know it's like you said focusing on those little muscles you know Focusing on the things that you think that don't matter, um, and I was for me like, you know, I knew I had to get bigger and stronger, and it's not like you know no bodybuilding stuff like that. I just I just went in there, you know, hit hit a couple extra reps and you know squatted more and focused on my legs more, and and that was all for me. You know, my speed and everything was there on the field. You know, just getting faster and as more explosive was 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 key for me and it wasn't nothing special I did in the weight room. I just attacked it a little harder. Hey Delvin, um, going from Kevin Stefanski to Gary Kubiak to Clint Kubiak, usually when you're changing offensive coordinators, it's different systems, but in this case, it, it seems like there's a lot of similarities. So how similar is it to what you've had the last couple of years and, and how much does that help to have at least continuity in the in the overall scheme? Um, I think the similarity is I still got a Kubiak as my as my coordinator, so that's 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 the similarities. Um, and you know when you get a new coordinator, you know the languages change, the plays change, you get a new system, and I think we know our identity of our, as, as our offense, and I think things haven't changed you know as much. You know you get different languages, you know you get different calls every now and then, but you know Clint Clint. Clint is a smart coach, and you know, I, that first year where I was around him last year, it was it was it was it was fun being around him. You know, he's one of those coaches. It's fun to be around. He's gonna bring that competitive side out you, mm -hmm. and having him as an offensive coordinator, I know it's gonna be a fun year. And like like I said, only thing that's probably changed is is some of our wording, but our identity as an offense, you know, I think we know who he is. Chris and then Don. Oh, hey, Dalvin, what's up? Hope you're doing well. Um, any concern? You know, what are your thoughts on the 17 game season now in the NFL? Any thoughts that it could be extra wear and tear on you? And also, how do you adjust your goals now? Seems like 2,000 yards would be even easier to get now with an extra game. Yeah, I want I want to say it's going to be easy, but 
you know, it's, it's, it's up in the air to get. Now, the extra game is valuable. And, you know, going back to what Courtney said, you know, it's, it's hitting that, that weight room a little extra harder. You know, it's doing the little things a little more. And, you know, it's a longer season. I know they cut the preseason short, but, you know, it's a longer season for everybody. So, you know, you got to do things, you know, a little more smarter. You got you to gotta train a little more harder. And I think that's what's going to be the key. You know, who take care of their, who take care of their body the best. And, I've been setting myself up pretty good and putting putting good people around me to, to take care of my body. So what are the goals with 17 games? How many yards? I want to make the playoff. Um, you know, I think that's my goal. I never really set a goal because I never really set a goal like ever since I got to Minnesota. It was always go out there. My main goal was just go out there and be Dalvin Cook. And I think everything going to take care of itself. I never really set a goal for, for X number of yards and, and this what I wanted to do. I always said work hard and when when the when the season come around just be who I am and let it and let it just let it go. And that's that's what I do. Hey Dalvin, how are you? You know, I have a question that you talked about with Courtney about changing what you did in the weight room. What what have you changed now that you're getting older and having come out of injuries when it comes to doing things that are recuperative or also maybe patience, like mental, um, to make sure that you can get to where you want to be? Yeah, I think, it, and my coach does a great job with, with all of us in the room. You know, I think it's all about getting your mind and your body in a routine to do things. and. That's something I didn't have as a younger guy, was a routine to get my body ready to go each and every week or to get it ready to go for practice or anything. I didn't have a routine. And that's what I try to tell the young guys, you know, while you're young, try to get a, try to get a, a routine going so you could, you could get your, yourself going. I think naturally, once you get a routine going, your mind clicks, your body clicks, and, and everything gets going. So now, you know, I'm in year five, you know, I got a routine of everything I do and how I want to do it. And, you know, like I said, the people that I got around me know, you know, how I want things done. And I think that's important. And like I said, your body just naturally responds to it. And I think that's the point I'm at right now. If I could follow up, is there anything major that you did in the routine um, that you added that was different? Um, I, think, I think a lot more recovery was for me. And, you know, I, I always start, you know, lifting weights and, you know, just just trying to get stronger and build the muscles up was the thing. But, you know, you got to let your body rest sometimes. And you got you to gotta let things, you know, calm down and, and get it restarted and get it refreshing. You know, that's what I do. I recover a lot. You know, I get my work in and stuff like that. But I let my body recover and naturally do what it's supposed to do. Lindsay and then Craig. Hey, Delvin, um, just wondering from your perspective, I know they obviously had completely different situations, but what is it like seeing Anthony um, and Cam both back out on the field um, for OTAs as linebackers and just, you know, kind of battling back what they went through last season? Yeah, I know, you know going through those, not Cam, you know, that was, that was like, that was something different. You know, we prayed for Cam so much that he's, he's back here with us now, and it's a miracle, you know, that's God that he's out there just running around with us now, and I'm happy for him. And, you know, for both of them, you know, I done, I done had my trip ups in my career, you know, with those injuries. And I know how it can be battle tested in your mind. And just to see those guys, you know, don't get discouraged, you know, don't hang your head, you know, keep that. I was seeing AB last year, he was coming in, what's up, Davo? Like, just like, just being that same guy that he was every day. And that's, that's positive because that's what I did. I kept that positive, same mindset and, you know, expecting myself to be back on the field. and. I think that's what those guys did, you know, and you know, I'm happy to see those guys back out there because that's my position to get me better each and every year. So I'm looking forward to training camp with those guys and, and having fun. Delvin, I was just curious, you have so much fun on the field, even every practice, but are you ever surprised when you look at like the player tracker data with how much work you, you've done in a day? <laughs> It's probably me running around just talking, talking BS, man. It's just probably just me running around doing that, and that's what I do, man. I, I like to, I like to have fun. You know, we don't get our work done. You know, we we pros. You know, we know what we need to get accomplished. You know, business is business, and, and I like to bring that kid out of everybody. I'm still a kid, man. I'm 25. I'm having fun on the field. That's my happy place, and 
And I'm gonna bring out everybody.